I'm Becca Hoppiger. Maybe you've heard some buzz this week about cancer-causing chemicals in California's tap water. An article published in the journal Environmental Health this week says toxins in our drinking water could lead to more than 15,000 cases of cancer statewide. But what does that really mean? Let's connect the dots. Now, the study was conducted by the Environmental Working Group, which describes itself as a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization dedicated to protecting human health and the environment. Researchers there looked at state data publicly available through California's Safe Drinking Water Information System. They analyzed contaminants in more than 2,700 community water systems from the year 2011 to 2015. The vast majority of Californians get our water from these systems. Here's what they found. In California, 90% of water systems met all federal standards for the past seven years. Sounds great, right? But researchers say just because levels are legal doesn't necessarily mean they're safe. The greatest risks in our drinking water come from substances including arsenic, byproducts of disinfectant chemicals, and chromium-6, aka the Aaron Brockovich chemical, if you recall that movie. By looking at the way these chemicals interact in our water, researchers say they've identified more than 15,000 additional cases of cancer that could occur statewide over the next 70 years. The study found drinking water risks are higher in small to mid-sized communities, often the ones in need of expensive improvements to their water infrastructure. Want to know if you're affected? Well, you can use a tool on the Environmental Working Group's website to find the details on your water system. Mine, for example, is the city of Sacramento main water system, where researchers found six contaminants with levels above health guidelines, yikes, and 11 other contaminants. But the group says most of these contaminants can be eliminated using a filter. Now we should add, California Governor Gavin Newsom is pushing legislation that would establish a drinking water fee to help improve tap water in communities that need it most. But critics have called that a water tax. That bill is still working its way through the state legislature, so chances of it passing are at this point unknown.